Okay, so back in 2017, again, the state of Vermont, Human Services, Economic Services, the Food Stamp Department, they decided that they were going to do this conspired um, fraud investigation against me. Why? I don't know. But uh, So anyways, I had been staying with Kiana in Kiana's back bedroom for the time that Everett had been seven weeks old until he turned six months old, and then I left, okay? But until he was seven weeks old, Jen and Milty had been in the bedroom behind and off the room, the living room beside the bathroom. And then there was Kiana's bedroom, and I was off from Kiana's bedroom in the back room with Everett and Baby Gypsy, okay? So with that time, when I moved on, uh, Jen and Milty had been staying there for the seven weeks along with Dylan, okay? So the baby's a newborn. He's seven weeks old. I took care of him until he was six months old throughout the nights, changed his diapers, fed him, did all the bottles in the morning, blah, blah, blah. Okay, Jen didn't want to stay there now because I was there so I could take care of him, which is fine. My grandson, love it, okay? So then this Kim LaFleur from uh, the Human Services, Economic Services Fraud Department, Went to Kiana's house. Dylan answers the door. Get this. Dylan answers the door. Now, he's living in the same apartment with Kiana as a newborn. So, if they were on assistance, why didn't they get in trouble? Okay? But instead, he tells them, no, I'm not there. I hadn't been there in six months. He wasn't lying. Everett was now over a year old, and I left when he was six months old. So, they didn't go to my place of residency. They went to my daughter's house, which is on the complete opposite side of town. Conspired. Mm -hmm. And they deemed me as being committing fraud. Well, I asked for a hearing on that. And so I want to share with you the conversation that I had with Kim LaFleur in regards to her saying that I was committing fraud when in fact it's the state of Vermont and the government of committing against me. never over until it's settled and I have proof of it. said I did that exactly and what happened to my filings TJ Donovan and Jeffrey Eaton the uh, federal court clerk and the USPS you see all of that's overseen by TJ Donovan and so is that girl 
that we just heard conversation I had with, okay? Her boss is TJ Donovan. Her overseer is Sean Donahue. They're all tied in with the federal government. So if anybody out here has been harassed by state or government officials, local officials, you probably ought to be not scared to come forward. You probably ought to start standing together, asking advice, and helping one another. I'm here, I'm willing to help you, and I'm willing to advise you. With that being said, stay tuned for more.